In this video today, we're going to talk about how to optimize your list on Turo. Don't miss out. Hey guys, my name is Mr. Luke Evan Brooks. Before we even start, I have a short video that I want you to check out right over here. Magandang araw po mga kababayan ko dyan sa Pilipinas. As part of our contest, ako po ay lumalapit sa inyo para sabihin na magbibigay ako ng 200 US dollars sa maswerteng mapipili. Jan po sa atin sa Pilipinas. Once we hit the 2,500 subscriber, ang dapat nyo lang po nagawin ay mag-subscribe, ilike po ang page at mag-comment. At kasali na po kayo agad sa contest. Once we hit that numbers, Mag-a-announce po kami on live at ibibigay ang premyo sa halagang 200 US dollars sa maswerteng na pi. Okay guys, thank you again. Remember, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment to get to the contest. We're reaching 2,500 and we're about to close this very soon, that number. Don't miss out. And also too, if you're new and you're looking to start your A to Z with Turo, this is the place to be. I have a course. Links down below. Check it out, please. Please do. Please take the time to do that. So today we're going to talk about optimizing your lists and your bookings, right? On Turo. Now, a lot of people will say, well, they got the automation system. And I'm not for the automation pricing system. I'm going to tell you what happened with me. I put the 2011 Dodge Charger on it, fully loaded. Good condition. I would say great condition. Some people say it's great condition. And they're talking to me about, hey, we recommend you list the price of your vehicle for $23. And I'm looking at them like, what? Like, no way. The car ain't broke down. The car's fully functional. It's running better than most cars today. And what it was is that a few weeks ago, Turo had to re-update the automation system. So that will tell you right there, how much money were you leaving on the table? I think with their automation system, they were looking at trying to get you more bookings, where with my system that I do, allows me to do almost 90% bookings every month. Only month that I had it was down was not almost 90% was last month. And that was just the holiday seasons right there for Christmas. A lot of people decided not to fly in, which is no problem because we were good to go. But how you optimize your list is very basic. You need to look at your competitors. If you don't already, you need to get the Turex. It's going to be a link down below in the description how to get that on your Chrome platform, your Chrome browser. You want to make sure you use this. This thing helps me out. I can go to Turex. I can input the information that's off of the Turo website using the zip code or using the city of where I'm trying to book my car. And then I could break down the categories of those cars that I'm looking for, whether you're looking at the same type of vehicle, vehicle for vehicle, or you're looking for that particular type of vehicle. So if you're looking for compact, you're not just looking for Corollas, you're looking for Centras, you're looking at Civics, Accords, all those things right there to see what they price. And then you're looking at, and you can break it down. You can look at what your competitors actually making. Another thing is that you need to do dynamic pricing. Dynamic means that you're not just sitting on a price and say, oh, I'm going to sit here all week. You should be looking at the price in nearly daily just to see what's going on. Now, especially when you're about to have bookings that are about to end. If you have bookings that are about to end, you got to figure out this. You have to say, okay, how do I get another customer within 24 to 48 hours of this booking about to end? Because that car is just going to sit there. It's not making any money. And again, the whole agenda is to make sure that your car stays booked. At the end of the day, a lot of people who are hosting are talking about they're not making money because they don't want to do not pricing. All that means is that whether you're going to put discounts on your car, the Turo 
trying to tell you to do. I don't do that with all my cars. I only do that with some of the cars. Or you drop down a couple of prices based off what your competitor is doing, then you must do that. Additionally, one way that I get the listings optimized, I post them in social media. That's right. I don't let Tiro just take all the cake. I go to local areas where people do traveling and groups in the city of Charlotte. And then I post the listing there. I just post the listing. People look at it and go, hmm, that's good. That's good. The people do travel. People want to know what's going on. A lot of people want to get good deals, right? Now, one thing I have seen too, is not just you got to worry about Turo. You got to also worry about outside competitors. These car rental companies now are getting hip to what the everyday you and me guys doing, right? Or ladies doing. They are now lowering their prices too. They're trying to remove all these fees that they have so they can run people out of Turo. And I think it's a little bit too late, to be honest with you, for them to do that because well, for Turo, you do get additional benefits, right? A lot of people may not want to go to the site to fill out all this paperwork, right? Some people with Turo do offer delivery service. They will deliver the car to you and you don't have to ride back to them to Enterprise or Hertz or whatever. And sometimes those initial deals that you have, those discounts really hurt the big guys right there. So that's another way to optimize. So you want to look at all those things right there. Additionally, you want to make sure your pictures are on point. Your pictures have to be on point. So coming up now for the year 2024, we're probably going to be taking more pictures just to give it a more crisp look. So when customers are looking at my vehicles, they're going to be like, hey, I want the new thing over there. Even though maybe a few years old, they want something that's looking good, looking right. And they're looking at the reviews. That's another thing that keeps you on top. You got to constantly make sure that you ask every customer to give you a five-star review. Even if you don't think they're going to give you a shot for it, you got to ask for it. What I do, using my system that we have with the Tarot Master Course, definitely want to get that. We already have this pre-made for you where we build a template out for you using the Tarot Messenger app to automatically ask for this right after the trip is over with. And this is definitely something that you want to take advantage of. A lot of people just don't want to do that. But at the end of the day, when people are looking at cars and comparing them, they're looking at the reliability. They're looking at the safety of it. They're making sure that the car has reviews. And of course, they're looking at price. Now, you might have people put price at the top. But if the price is, is really good and at the end of the day, it's just crappy reviews based off the host is not caring, not making sure the car's clean, not making sure the car's got fuel in it, then it's not going to be a good time. For me, I look at my car as a adventure, meaning that, no, we're not going dirt racing or anything like that, but it's just like you're taking an airplane trip and you're enjoying the trip, you're having a good time, you're not have to worry about no maintenance wrong with this car, you're not worried about no cars breaking down, you are enjoying every minute of it, right? And you're making sure that you're trusting a host, a host that you never really see to make sure they take care of you because there have been times where hosts have not did what they were supposed to. They skipped over maintenance. They forgot about the safety. They were just trying to get the money and get out. And now Tiro has clamped down on it with a lot of hosts now where if they forego any type of repairs, they're gonna have to go to a certified mechanic to get a sheet filled out. So you wanna stay on top of your maintenance. Additionally, to optimize your list too, you wanna to make sure that you book higher on the weekends. Now there should be times that you do have some down periods, but like if it's a major holiday coming, you gotta bump it up. I did that for the holidays, and that's why I said I wasn't worried too much about Christmas time, because people were renting vehicles for the holidays, and the price shot up maybe two, three times more than it typically would, and people rent it. They rented the vehicle because they needed the vehicle and they knew that all the other vehicles were going to be higher. So you got to understand the dynamic of that. Always constantly look at what you're doing. Always look at where your car stand. Look at the maintenance as well, too, and making sure that they stay up and running. Now, guys, if you have any questions in regards to this, let me know down below. Tell me, what are you doing to optimize your list right now as a host? Are you thinking about joining Turo as a host? There's a link down below. Tarot Masterclass, and don't forget to go ahead and sign up for it while you still can. And don't forget to subscribe and like. We definitely are reaching 2,500, but I need your help to make sure that we reach that number. 
We give them away $200 to a lucky person. The only thing you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment to any of these videos that we have. And once we get to 2,500, we're gonna do a drawing and that lucky person is gonna get $200 on me. And I just wanna show my appreciation for everyone helping me with this channel, help growing this channel. And I can't do, you know, anything else other than to just thank y'all. So guys, see you on the other side. Take care and don't forget, let's drive.